Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about partitioning in Azure Cosmos database. So guys, when we create a container, we provide partition key as well, right? And because we have partition key, that means data in a container, it gets distributed across logical partitions. And now let's try to understand what is this partitioning? Why we have this partitioning with an example? So imagine uh, we have created a container. Let's say it's C users. So again, C stands for container and users means this container will contain information about the users. And let's say when we created this container that is C users, we provided the partition key as city. And imagine we have these three records in this container that is name Herschel city Mumbai, second name John city Mumbai and third name Neem and city is equal to London. So in this case, because we have city as a partition key, that means here two logical partitions will be created. So first partition will be for city Mumbai and in that partition, that is in that logical partition, this and this, these two records will be present. And in second logical partition, the record with city London, it will be present. So based on partition key value, multiple logical partitions are created in a container. Okay. So in this, so in this case, if we have 100 different values of city, that means 100 different logical partitions will be created. Now we have understood what a logical partition is, but then we may have a question why we have this partitioning concept. So because we have logical partitions in Cosmos database, the data retrieval is fast because Cosmos database now knows from which partition we have to fetch the record. So for example, when we are fetching the records from Cosmos database, we will provide the partition key value as well. So that, uh, so Cosmos database will go to that particular logical partition and it will retrieve that data. So in that way, the Cosmos does not need to query the whole container. Rather, it will query or it will retrieve that data from that particular logical partition only. Now we have discussed what is logical partition, but guys, again, uh, though this Cosmos database is managed for us by Azure itself, but behind the scene, this Cosmos database, it's present on physical servers only. To be specific, behind the scenes, these logical partitions, they are present on physical server or physical machines. Okay. And one physical server, it can contain one or more logical partitions. So, it's, it might be possible that all these two partitions, again guys, here we have two partitions, one for city Mumbai, another is for city London. So it's, it might be possible both these two partitions will be present on a same physical server or both these partitions, they may be present on different physical servers. Okay. And now because we have these physical servers behind the scene for our logical partitions. That means we can horizontally scale up our Azure Cosmos database whenever we need to improve the performance. So when we scale up it horizontally, that means more number of physical servers or physical machines, they will be provided to us by the Azure. So, so that's it guys. Uh, in this video, we just wanted to understand the concept of partitioning and in our next video, we'll try to understand how we can choose a correct partition key based on our requirement. So thank you guys.